So it's early October, in fact it was October 14th, it was on a Sunday. It was Wayne's birthday and I got him away from his family to go down with me to take some blind turtles down there. We're going to erect one on the new lease that I'd been there just three weeks previous to that and set up a camera. We worked really hard. We had my little Kubota back there. He brought his big dump trailer. We had it all going on. We were screwing, drilling, cutting, using every tool we had to put up that blind turtle. So in the three weeks before Wayne and I went back and erected that blind turtle, I had that camera out there and we were getting pictures of a lot of mature bucks. So we did finish just in time to get in a tree stand. I ended up seeing a few does and uh, it was time to get out of there. And then we had one little problem. Little hills in Kentucky can turn into big problems down in the holler when you've got a 20,000 pound dump trailer and a huge Dodge Dually diesel with road tires. It was kind of scary for a moment. We didn't get up out of the holler. We made it halfway up the hill. We started sliding back down in and this was turning into a nightmare. You can really get yourself into trouble in situations like this. But luckily for us, Steve, our neighbor, the farmer next door, we went up to his door and in this day and age you don't know what you're going to run into when you go up to somebody's house on a Sunday night at 8 o'clock in the rain with a flashlight. But luckily he saved her life and we did get out of there. So after getting out of the holler on the way back home, I got a text from my wife Carrie and she said, Jason, we're going to a Halloween party and we're taking our grandson Levi and it's next Saturday, the 20th of October, which just happened to be the opening weekend, the two-day early muzzleloader season in the great state of Kentucky. In her text, she said like three times, it's really important to me. So I looked at Wayne, I'm like, oh my gosh, Wayne, I don't know if I'm going to get to go to Kentucky or not. I may have to go to a Halloween party. When I say have to, I'm a grandpa now and I don't want to miss anything that has to do with my grandson. So I was bumming. Wayne, the next day with our neighbor in Ohio there, Gary, Gary and him were making fun of me and Wayne was like, well, I don't have to go to a Halloween party, I'll be down here. A couple days later, he came to Rush Archery and he had a big frown on his face and he goes, oh my gosh, I'm not going to get to go to Kentucky. And I'd already found out that I did get to go because the Halloween party got canceled. He said, my family had planned a surprise birthday party for me when I was in Kentucky with you getting stuck in the holler. And I'm like, well, so what? And he said, well... When I told my wife, Regina, she said, good luck with that. You can tell your adult children that have planned the second surprise birthday party that you won't be here. So anyways, I headed down to Ohio all sweaty. I was checking out my camera gear the night before, making sure everything was right. Night before, muzzle order, opening day, sweaty. Getting prepared. Just put a starter in my four-wheeler. Not a starter, ignition switch, big difference. Don't lose your key. <laughs> we've really got building the blind turtles down to an art. I mean, we've done it a lot, and especially the custom ones, from building the windows to putting extra plexiglass in the door so you can see out that blind spot. But one thing that we forgot that is absolutely crucial, you have to have carpet in any kind of a elevated blind. So anyways, I get in the blind and I'm getting everything ready and I'm like, there could be deer coming right after daylight. Legal time was 7, 17 a.m. and it was just breaking day and I'm trying to be really still because the there's no carpet in the blind turtle. And I look through the CRP and all I can see is a huge rack coming. So my first thought was maybe I shouldn't turn on my camera because I have an external monitor on it and it's got a blue screen that comes on for like 10 seconds before the camera connects with it and fires up. But that's what I do, so I took the rest, turn it on.
So I kept the frame really wide to gather as much light as I could, took a deep breath, and that buck kind of knew that something was up and he was looking at me. He was only 37 yards away. And I decided I could make that shot with my CVA, with that True Glow scope, and I just aimed as hard as I could at that old throat patch and touched it off. has arrived. What do you got laying over there, Chief? You know what? I, I don't know. I come up here and after it got daylight, I looked down there and he was just laying there dead. Kentucky early month on the first morning. Got it done, man. That's as good as it gets right there. Took you a long... Kentucky light tail. Took you guys a long time to get here. I'm excited. I'll go look at him. you just been sitting cozy in the flying turtle eating this to beat, huh? Just uh -huh. enjoying yourself. Action style, huh? Yes, sir. You guys think I should uh, poke him in the eyeball when I get down there? Well, how long have you been sitting there staring at him? I worried for a minute when he flopped 10 minutes later when I was talking to Kiri on the phone. I like my little figure eight. I think Mo's a pretty good pass. Everything I did, Wayne and I almost getting killed down here. <laughs> Not getting out, getting stuck. It was all worth it. By the way, we got two Waynes. We got this Wayne and Wayne Reiser. Wayne Wooster here. Sounds like we're talking about a bunch of Waynes, but there's only one Dustin, one Jason, right? Yep, you got that right. What do you think? That's a good buck right there, buddy. 14 scoreable points. Don't care where you're from. Here is the deal. I'm just plain lucky. God blesses me every day, and I am so not worthy of his mercy in life, especially hunting. This has been a rough hunting season so far. You always hear people on TV talking about that, too. Uh, it's been a rough season. Well, it has been, literally. Started in Kentucky on September 1st with that guy running that angle. It worked out fantastic this morning, but a lot of hard work went into this. Wayne and I were down here last weekend, last Sunday, today is Saturday morning, erecting that do-it-yourself blind turtle. 
A lot of effort went into that, just Wayne and I lifting it with my little Kubota and a lot of muscle, and it all paid off. I, I feel bad for Wayne, because he was supposed to be here with me this morning. This deer is a cranker. He showed up on the camera like four or five days ago. We just checked over by the pond set. Then he was there a few days ago. I thought he was another big 10 that we got, but he didn't have all this trash, that other 10, it's a clean 10. All the products worked fantastic, True Glow Scope, did its job, it was low light conditions. That's all the plugs you're gonna get from me. Just blessed. God is good all the time. Thanks a lot for watching my 2018 Kentucky early muzzleloader hunt. If you're interested in a really good, inexpensive tower blind that you can put up yourself or buy the kit, check out the link below to the Blind Turtle. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more of Rush TV on YouTube, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell. Comment down below. Hit that like button. Thanks again for watching. We hope we see you on the next video. Make sure you subscribe to our sisters and hit the notification button. I gotta do that again.